Hello there and welcome to a Trains, Planes and Automobiles. Right, what I'll be talking about today is the 1940 a capital ship HMS Howe. HMS Howe, one of five a King George a V-class battleships, all of which were constructed for the Royal Navy in 1937, the year the Washington Treaty lapsed. These were the first new battleships to go into construction in the United Kingdom for 15 years and showed a considerable advance over ships of the previous classes, particularly in their machinery and the arrangements of their armament. The HMS Howe was the last ship of five to be built. Constructed by Fairfield, she was laid down on the 1st of June 1937. She was launched on the 9th of April 1940 and commissioned on the 29th of August 1942. She had a short active career, becoming a training ship in 1946, being placed in reserve. She was broken up for scrap in 1957. The ships were built under the limits of the London Naval Treaty, which limited a standard displacement of battleships to 35,000 tonnes, though the British had a 15-inch 380mm gun mounts available. It was decided that the new ships would be better balanced with 14-inch 355mm guns and could carry more of them. They originally to have had 12 in three quadruple turrets, but after trials the super firing eight turret was reduced to a twin. The 16 secondary 5.25 inch 133mm guns were in mounts which elevated to 70 degrees and did double duty against destroyers and aircraft. In action the main gun mounts gave considerable trouble and the secondary turrets were cramps. HMS Howe, she was a battleship, she had a four shaft Parsons geared turbines producing a whopping 110,000 SHP. She had a length of 227 metres or 745 feet. She had a beam of 31.4 metres or 103 feet. She had a weight of 36,725 tonnes as standard or 42,075 tonnes as a deep load. She had 1,422 crew, so basically she had a whole school on board, which is pretty a big ship. At a range of 20 knots, she had a range of 6,300 miles. In brief, the career of the Howe. HMS Howe was the last but one battleship ever built by the Royal Navy and for the time she was completed it had become clear that the days of the capital ship were largely over no matter what some big ship enthusiasts might have said her career was very short as a result under three and a half years on active service she joined the home fleet on her commissioning and on the following may was detached for duty in the mediterranean she was the british flagship during operation husky the invasion of sicily and later bombarded shore targets in Italy in support of the invasion there. She joined the Eastern Fleet based at Trincomalee and was the first flagship of the Pacific Fleet when she formed. She took part in shore bombardments in support of the US troops in the first part of 1945 and then refitted in South Africa prior to returning to the UK to be paid off in January 1946. I must say, this is what a battleship looks like. If, you, if you're if you a kid or anything like that and you look as a kid, HMS Howe is what I imagine a battleship looks like. Absolutely awesome thing. And I can't believe that it was in such short active service. Probably a lot of money wasted by the British government. <laughs> anyway, that was the HMS Howe. Thanks for watching, seeing the pictures. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.